hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix valorant error code val5 let's fix it guys the first solution consists of three steps the first step is to delete and reinstall vanguard to do this go to search menu and type control panel click on open it select uninstall a program search for write vanguard right click on it and select uninstall and select yes select yes just press in keyboard f5 to refresh this page as you can see we have deleted right vanguard now the second step is to set the vgc service to run automatically to do this you just need to close stuff here go to search menu and type services click on open it search for vgc service right click on it and select properties select the drop down and select automatic and if the service status is stopped then you just need to start it select apply and ok for save changes now you just need to close stuff here now the third step is to turn on vgc service from ms config to do this go to search menu and type ms config comes up system configuration click on open it select the services tab and search for vgc service you just need to check mark the vgc service guys after doing this select apply and ok for save changes now you need to select restart and select restart it guys after getting restart done you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the second solution guys the second solution is to change the dns to do this go to search menu and type view network connection click on open it right click on the internet you are using it and select properties select internet protocol version 4 and select properties in here you just need to select use the following dns server addresses and type here 8888 and in alternative dns type 8844 click on ok now you just need to close stuff here and check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the third solution guys the third solution is to reset internet with the cmd commands to do this go to search menu and type cmd right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator and select yes now you just need to check my video description for this command used in my video copy and paste it one by one press enter after finishing these three commands you just need to close stuff here and go ahead and restart your pc guys after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not i hope one of these solution fixed your problem guys if the video helped you don't forget to leave a like guys you can also subscribe me and support me guys thank you